Hello, hello, and welcome back, my beautiful froggy army, to another vlog. We're starting off in my bathroom today. I am finally kind of getting ready fully for the day. I swear I like showered, got ready, put on my makeup, and suddenly it was 3 p.m. I have a lot of stuff in mind for this video. I want to talk about all the typical end of year things, you know, resolutions. I'm gonna talk about my content for 2023. I'm also going to be going out today, so we'll have a little bit of fun outside time today too. We're gonna go see a movie, but we're going to like a really nice like shopping center plaza, so hair is brown. We're good to go. I know you've been looking at my super messy sink back there. I promise I'm gonna clean it. I recently got this organizer for my earrings and I thought I would show you. This has been so much nicer than the other thing that I had. Oh no, we have a froggy chair down. And of course I color coordinated it. Very satisfying. So I'm gonna just pick my earrings for today. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with these little purple butterfly ones and they've got like gold, which will match my necklaces that I already have on. The other thing I wanted to do in this vlog was to show you what I got for Christmas. I thought you would be excited or interested to see the things that I got for Christmas. In my family, it's usually quantity over quality. Like we will usually give each other a bunch of like smaller, more expensive things versus like one big expensive thing. So that's kind of how we give gifts. So I'll just kind of run through it fairly quickly. First thing is these whale crackers from the dollar store. These are my favorite like snack crackers of all time. So I ask for them for Christmas all the time so that I can be like stocked up, you know? And these are just in totally random order as I'm pulling them out of my pile. But the next thing is a Squishmallow puzzle, which I absolutely love the design. I love how it's kind of like rainbow-ish. I just love all the colors. So I'm really excited to do that puzzle. And my family doesn't get me Squishmallows because I'm very particular with them. So I was very excited to get something Squishmallow like adjacent. My grandma got me this mirror for doing my makeup and it has like a purple base. So I'm very excited to use this. This cute little clip froggy clip super cute i got this super cute hello kitty pushing mixing bowl love this so much so adorable oh yeah my mom also got me a dollar store gift card to buy more whale cracker snacks so Thank you, mom. I got some cute little froggy socks. I was so excited for these. I got some lavender bubble bath and uh, like sleep spray stuff. Oh, hello, Pepper. Oh, oh yes, good job. <laughs> Wow, what a good scratch. He is so funny. He does not have claws. Cute little like jade roller and a like facial serum to go with it. I've always wanted to try one of these, so super excited. I got a Winnie the Pooh lip balm from The Cream Shop. I love that brand. And I also got this Hello Kitty like a bath fizzy thing. I love like Hello Kitty like bath products. And this little froggy plush with a Santa hat and he's holding some socks. An Animal Crossing manga manga the like little Animal Crossing book. So I'm like really excited about this. I've been really curious about it, but I was like, I'm never gonna buy it. Like I just, cause I like don't read ever, but <laughs> to get it gifted was the perfect, like the perfect compromise. I also got like some assorted hair things, which are always useful. My hair is so long now, so I need stuff for it. I got this little froggy guy with like a little umbrella and his rain boots and his little raincoat. He's so cute. Pepper, do you really? I swear he never is like in this room except for when I'm in here. <laughs> One of the things I, what? He just opened the door. Anyway, one of the things I ask for for Christmas every year is pajama pants. So I got a pair this year and I always like them to have like wide legs. I don't like it when they're like a jogger or like tight at the ankle because it makes them annoying to put on. My friend 3D printed me <laughs> these freaking frogs. <laughs> You know, these like super chunky little frogs. There's like the little baby, baby one. I got another one of these lip balms, but this one's Hello Kitty. A little Snoopy tumbler, so cute. Hair clips, which, you know, if you have long hair, you could never truly have enough hair clips. I got some Bath and Body Works Japanese Cherry Blossom. This was my jam in middle school, so I'm excited to re- smell it and get those middle school memories you know my grandma also gave me some really nice soaps that like literally make this whole area where i left my presents smell so good so i think that's it i may have put some things away already but that's pretty much the majority of everything now i can put this all away <laughs> 
Okay, hello. We're gonna dive into some cleaning of my bathroom sink like I promised. So enjoy that footage while I talk to you about some of my New Year's resolutions. I don't typically do New Year's resolutions, but this year I'm just setting more so some goals for myself. So not gonna take it too seriously, but the number one thing I wanna work on is skincare for sure. I've been dying to get like bangs or like side bangs or just like some face framing stuff, but I'm way too scared to do it because my oily forehead gets my hair so greasy enough as it is like my very front pieces in the front of my face so I'm way too scared to do bangs so anybody who is an oily forehead person please leave tips in the comments if you have them another thing I want to work on is doing some more hobbies like I just want to get into maybe some paper crafting junk journaling scrapbooking just journaling in general um, I want to do a couple more hobbies this year even if I don't do them long term just try them out once that's totally fine I actually recorded me doing a junk journal page um, for this vlog, but the footage got deleted. It was it, it was so infuriating, but I did do it. I'll show you probably in my next vlog when I do my next page. Another thing I want to do is travel more, and that's kind of harder to do because, you know, it's money and taking time off of work and stuff, but I definitely want to see new places and do new things. I mean, of course, who doesn't? But, like, I want to take a vacation just me and my boyfriend and just go somewhere totally new and different and do stuff because we have never done that before in the four years that we have been dating. It's brilliant believe it or not like the only time we've done it was when I went to Seattle but it was kind of a work thing but yeah I definitely want to go somewhere fun just me and him but yeah that's kind of it I don't really have anything serious I don't do like weight or food stuff because I just think that you should enjoy life and not worry about that stuff too much but yeah um just kind of want to work on that stuff and of course for YouTube uh, it's kind of separate from my personal resolutions, but of course I just want to keep making content that is, you know, happy and fun and makes me happy and you guys enjoy. So I'm excited to explore new things in 2023. We will see what this brings to the channel. And of course, if you have any things you would like to see from me in the new year, drop them in the comments below. I'd love to know. So yeah, that's me cleaning this bathroom talking about resolutions. Thank you so much for watching. And here's how the sink turned out. Right. We have those three in the in the board game. I got them three. Oh. They're called the Omega Rangers. So I guess this is like another. You see, because it's the same one. I'm assuming this is them, but like evil or something, like parallel dimension and stuff. The actual handle, you know what I mean? My eyelashes are coming off, but we just came out of Avatar. It was really good. We saw it in IMAX. I didn't cry. It came close. I held it in. <laughs> okay, hi. We're back home. It's literally 12 in the morning, 12 a.m., midnight, whatever it is. So yeah, we went and saw Avatar. I really enjoyed it. It was really pretty. We saw it in IMAX, so it was like really like extra pretty. Anyways, I took off the darned eyelashes because they were coming off. The glue I've been using has been really good. I've been using the House of Lashes eyelash glue and I put a little more on my inner corners and they usually stay the whole day, but I don't really know what happened here. But on the way to the movie, I did take some clothes to Plato's Closet to sell some. It's like a consignment store. I've been having kind of like a style crisis. They did take some of my clothes. They bought like $13 worth and then I found like two things that I wanted to get. So it like just canceled out. Like, so I basically just like traded in some of my clothes the first <laughs> If you know me, I'm a Taco Bell fanatic, okay? I live, laugh, love Taco Bell. And this is like genuine Taco Bell merch. Like, I thought this was pretty sick. It was on clearance. It was like half off, so it was only like three bucks. And then the second thing was this like cute little dress. Hopefully um, it fits me nice. It is Airpostle. It was 12 bucks. Like I said, I've been having kind of like a style crisis. I feel like I don't know what to wear anymore and I like never have things to wear. I have been one of those people who like is getting ready to go somewhere and I literally am changing clothes like every five minutes. Like it's ridiculous. I've noticed it more in this month because we've been doing a lot of stuff. I've been having to put together outfits for Christmas and like going out to go get Christmas presents and meeting up with friends. Like normally I'm just in like pajama pants and I don't really put outfits together. But anyway, all that to say in the new year, like I think one of my resolutions is to kind of find my style a little bit more like I really liked my outfit today my problem is 
because I have a lot of really quirky clothes, like a lot of stuff that I wear for Froggy Crossing, right? Really colorful things, really out there prints and stuff like that. And while I'm comfortable wearing that at home for you guys, I'm not necessarily comfortable wearing it out and about. I just want to like look put together and really I don't feel that put together with like my Froggy Crossing outfits because they're just so out there. But at the same time, like I want to be still colorful and like have my unique style, you know? So it's like I don't want to be wearing like my cardigans with like my clouds and strawberries and like crazy pants that I wear for Froggy Crossing. I don't want to wear that stuff like all the time, you know? I'll wear it out sometimes, but not all the time. But I don't want to like be in neutrals and I don't want to dress just like in jeans and like a white shirt. Like I don't want to be like basic, even though there's nothing wrong with being basic. I just don't want to be, like I still want to be colorful and like myself, you know? So it's, I'm just trying to find like that balance. <laughs> this is such a long ramble. I, I don't know if I'll even put those on the video. We'll see. There's this one TikToker that I found and I absolutely love their style. I feel like their style is kind of what I want to go for. Like it's the perfect balance between like colorful and quirky but not like so totally outlandish that I would feel like a little bit insecure wearing it in public, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna try to thrift some things in the new year so I'm very excited about that and I've been very much into skirts. Like I have not worn my jeans in so long. I think it's also because I put on a couple pounds so none of them like fit me nicely but the ones that still do I just don't want to wear them. Oh, my rings just went flying. I have been like so anti-jeans lately. Like I just want to be comfy. Like I want all my clothes to be comfy. I'm done sacrificing my comfort for like style. Like I, I'm so done. But I just want to find my style in the new year and all of that. So there will probably be more thrifting videos. I'm thinking of doing some dedicated thrifting videos. Like I usually throw in thrifting in vlogs and stuff. But I'm thinking of doing like dedicated. Because I really like watching those. So maybe you guys will too. Let me know in the comments. Anyways, I've been talking for way too long. I am going to clean my office because once again, it's messy and I'm going to maybe edit a little bit of this and yeah, just kind of chill because I'll probably go to bed in like an hour or two anyway. So yeah, I'll probably catch you tomorrow. It is the next day. Hello. I want to do a whole bunch of stuff today. I have so much that I want to get done. So we're going to be out and about today. I want to do some thrifting. I want to look for clothes. I've been putting together a Pinterest board. I'm feeling a lot of skirts. I want to look for skirts and dresses. I want to look for tops that are kind of basic, but not like super basic. For example, on my Pinterest board, there's like this um, black tank top that has like some cool funky sleeves and like a white little like tie up little shirt so like they're they're solid color basics but like still have a little bit of flair you know so i want to look for some thrifted clothes i want to stop at the dollar store i need to get groceries i've got my little grocery list but yeah i will catch you at our first stop okay thrift store number one so you know how i was talking about my uh style crisis um i i know that you just saw me rant about that and i know what i'm wearing in this clip is just <laughs> shorts and a shirt but okay i had a motivation to wear this okay i was like you know what let me wear something super basic and kind of like tighter fitting on my skin so that way if i want to try things on i can just kind of like pull it over i just feel like i had to explain it because i literally just went on a whole rant about how i was having a style crisis and then the next clip i just show up in like the most plain outfit ever i just Okay, but there was a reason, okay? <laughs> Anyways, this thrift store, as I will talk about in a little bit, um, is kind of hit or miss with clothes. I feel like they usually have more... I don't know how to say it, like, junkier clothes, I guess. I feel bad saying that, but usually this store will have, like, stuff that's, like, pilling and kind of, like, a little bit on the crustier side, you know? I mean, every thrift store has them, but this thrift store especially, so. But anyways, I also found this duster thingy. I think it's called a duster. I'm not sure, but yeah, I did end up picking this up because I thought it was very cute. Okay, so I did not film that much in that thrift store. Honestly, that thrift store is pretty hit or miss with clothes. It's not really really good like consistency wise so i think i want to go to goodwill instead or not instead but in addition to so i'm gonna go ahead and make that drive but i will check in with you once i get there i did get some stuff at the store to be fair i'm absolutely starving it's like 4 p.m already so i'm stopping for a snack i ended up just getting like a tea sort of thing it's so good it's like 
uh, mango, pineapple, all kinds of stuff. But I went into this like little store restaurant and found someone from the same hometown as me who lived in like the same or same home city who lived in the same town and like moved to the same place that I did. Like. It was such a crazy coincidence. So I spent like like 20 minutes in there just like talking to him. It was so funny. But anyway, I'm going to go into this Goodwill and crossing our fingers and I find some skirts. I want some skirts, please. And now we are on to Goodwill. Starting off with this giant frog plushie. Was low-key tempted to get it. Also the caterpillar. I loved the colors. There was also a giant pink frog next to the giant green frog. So yeah, a lot of frogs. This super cute like Easter thing. I don't know why I'm in the home decor section. I just... I always have to check, you know? This bare mailbox, like, oh, so cute. This is why I love thrifting. Like, you just find the, the cutest things. <laughs> so many unique things. That, that's why I do it. That's why I do it. I did find this goose cup. And if you've watched um, one of my other vlogs where I went thrifting, I also found a goose mug. So finding a lot of goose uh, drinkware. And oh my goodness, this candle holder was the cutest thing. And I have some similar bears that I use to decorate when it comes like Thanksgiving time. But it was $8. I was like, excuse me, ma'am. Absolutely not. Goodwill. What the heck? Um, Among Us backpack. But yeah, I, I kind of you know what? I kind of regret not getting the candle holder. It was so cute. But anyway, I actually went aisle by aisle, clothing piece by clothing piece, and was just taking my sweet time. I saw this thing, thought it could be a cute layering piece, put it in the cart, did not get it. I saw this, it's plain black, had a little bit of flair with the front design, but it was too long for my taste, so I put it back. This crush shirt, kind of sick, kind of loved it. It was cute. This uh, Cthulhu Beanie Baby hoodie? kind of went hard, honestly. So it is fitting room time, moment of silence for these pants that I could not get over my butt. Uh, they were so cute. Found this skirt. I thought it was giving maybe kind of like Sunday best, but I picked it up anyway because I liked the orange shade. Saw this skirt, but I did not like that it went all the way to the floor. I did not like the waistband. This shirt fit me so good. Oh my goodness, this shirt was so good. I picked it up and got this shirt too. It fit me nice. It was solid, nice quality. Snatched it up. Just, you you know, trying to get some basics in there. This shirt, I was trying to go for like a plain white shirt. It was way too long and like sort of see-through. Like it was really nice material, but it also was just like kind of too thin and showing too much stuff. I didn't like it. Found this duster, but it was kind of giving bathrobe nighty type of thing. I don't know. And then this blue long sleeve. I'm so obsessed with it. I wish it was a little bit more cropped, but I'll just kind of like roll it up like this. It's so good. It looks awkward with the shirt underneath, but I'll wear it later in this video and you'll see. I found this thing. I thought it could be cute for like layering on top of a dress, but it was too short, but it has like all these cute details. Super adorable. I loved it. I was so sad leaving it behind, but it was also way too short. Like I would have to have, I don't, I don't know how I would style this. So I left it. I forgot to film any of it because I was in a rush, but just got groceries. It was literally so nerve-wracking because my credit card limit was um, full. So I was literally paying my credit card as I'm putting, like on my phone, like as I'm putting the stuff on the belt to check out. And I was like, oh my God, please go through. <laughs> Thankfully it did. Anyways, it's literally 6.20 p.m. I'm gonna head home. I wanted to go to the dollar store and go to Big Lots, but... <laughs> I kind of took way too long at the thrift stores, so we're just gonna go home. So along with my style crisis, of course, I'm trying to go through all my clothes and make sure that I only have things that I absolutely love. So I committed to doing all my laundry before the start of the new year, and I'm almost done. I have like two loads of laundry I have to do left. But yeah, we are folding all of my clothes and hanging everything, which I hate so much doing it, but I did get it all done and it was very satisfying. We are getting ready to go out again. <laughs> so I still need to do my hair, so ignore that. But this is one of the shirts that I got yesterday. So this fits me nicely. I like it. It's not like super skin tight, but like it fits well. And I'm just wearing some like plain jeans, even though I've been anti-jeans. These are like my only pants, um, at least for what I want to wear today, which is the blue long sleeve thingy that we got yesterday. I am literally so obsessed with this. I haven't stopped thinking about it. The cats are here with me, of course, laying in my laundry. Been doing laundry all day, um, but we completely ran out of hangers. So in order to finish 
doing my laundry. <laughs> I need to go get more hangers. Here's what we're working with. I love this blue thing so much. I think this would be even cuter of a look with maybe like thinner straps, like maybe a, a spaghetti strap tank top instead. Yeah, jeans would not be my choice, but these are the only things that I have that match. So, so I do want to find a skirt that can match this eventually, but yeah. This is the outfit today. Let me do my hair and do a few more accessories and then we'll get going. Here's what we ended up with. I just did like a half up, half down, and then like used a hair clip for, to make this little ponytail like really like high up. I don't really know what kind of look we're going for, but it is what it is and I enjoy it. And then I'm gonna use this tote bag as my purse today, just cause it's mainly white and it has a little bit of blue. So I'm kind of going for like white and blue. And I'm just gonna wear like white sneakers and that's it. Okay, so let's get going. Me, ah yes, I'm just going to Target simply for hangers, that's it. Just need hangers, I have to check for squishmallows. And I walk out with all of this, ah yes. I mean, I got the hangers, I got some storage bins for my Christmas stuff, and this tree was $100, and it was on sale for 30, and it's a lit, like, tree. I was thinking this would be so cute, I don't know, like by the front door or something. I resisted the urge to buy a bunch of wrapping paper because it was all like 70% off the Christmas stuff. I still have a ton left over from this year, so it's fine. I, I didn't need any more. I'm gonna go to Plato's Closet now, see if I can sell some of these clothes. If not, I'll just donate them to Goodwill because I'm going there anyway. And then, yeah, and then we'll go to Goodwill, obviously. <laughs> I just went into Plato's Closet and I took these two big like tote bags, like heavy full of stuff. And it didn't take much, but I did get 20 bucks. And then I also found this cute little sweater, like springy vibes. It's got this cute little embroidery. The only thing is it has some stains. It has some like staining, but I'm hoping I can get that out. It was on clearance. It was like three or four bucks. So, hey, that's pretty good. I'm just gonna donate everything they didn't take to Goodwill, which is where we're going right now. Okay, so at this Goodwill, I did find a Squishmallow right off the bat, kind of cute with the hearts, but not a big fan of the sloth and it had stains. They had so many plushies, so many Mario plushies specifically. I think someone donated their collection. Um, there were so many, look at this guy. <laughs> I was like, wow, and they were just kind of all over the floor. I thought this was Donkey Kong. No, it was Curious George. <laughs> there was even Bowser. He looked kind of funky though. I found my second Squish. It was another stained owl or another stained squishmallow and then this hug me also i almost picked it up but i'm not like a pug person so i left him for somebody else but then found my i forgot this number another squishmallow mickey no mini squishmallow um i flipped her over to find the squishmallow tag but it just said disney and i was like wait where's the squishmallow tag but it's it's a squishmallow i promise i found this power rangers book i bought it because me and my boyfriend have been into power rangers lately so it's kind of like a comic book it was actually really cute it was less than a dollar found this cute little like cherry like cookie jar thing and i just really loved this little like I don't know what this is, but it was so cute. I loved the little like ridges and I love quirky picture frames. This Christmas one was so cute. Looked at the skirts. There's this one with like a dog pattern. It was so funny, um, but did not end up getting any skirts from this Goodwill, unfortunately. Just got home. Just gonna make a quick dinner. Gonna do like some crunch wraps from Taco Bell, copycat crunch wraps. I'm probably gonna take this off because I don't like cooking with long sleeves and it's a little bit tight. So I just wanna take it off, but yeah, successful day today. I didn't get to thrift as much in Goodwill. I got this little number at Goodwill. Um, you can't really tell, but it does have like sparkles. It's kind of sparkly. So I thought this would be cute for New Year's. Yeah. And I thought the like hardware on the front was kind of cool, like different. Okay. I totally forgot to end off the vlog, but that is going to be it from me today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.